what is going on today everybody i hope you're having a great day i know that i am well i was and then it wasn't but now we're back some parts came in to fix some stuff that should be working that's not working so with that let's go ahead let's dive right into it so the old traverse strikes again the blower for the hvac system the air seems to be working but not working like it blows and it's stuck on hot and the doors don't open you can't change between like the glass or your face or the feet so something's going on with the actuators being open or stuck or something's going on with them and i did a little bit of diagnosing with the scan tool found out it was an actuator now it doesn't tell you exactly which actuator so we're gonna go ahead and dive into what actuator i think is a problem so we'll go ahead get looking at that and uh, start diagnosing one thing you're really gonna need flathead screwdriver and a 20 mil or 20 what is it a t20 torx bit so those are things you're gonna need might need some other tools but for right now that's pretty much all that we need to get to three out of the four um, actuators we're gonna start with the easiest one which is underneath the driver's side we're having troubles with the driver's side so it's leading me to believe that the driver's side actuator is the issue so we're gonna go ahead and dive into it so here's all the codes that it's throwing got temperature control one uh, flow control nine temperature one one so looks like one's gonna be the problem now if you don't have a scan tool that's gonna make it a little bit tougher but it's still doable we can look at it and uh, go through some stuff there's effectively four of these modules in this car there's one right under here that is the driver's temperature sensor there's one over on here the same spot other side that is the passenger temperature control not sensor control so the hot cold and then there's one up top which is your blend doors and then there's one way back up in here that is your recirc or cabin um, recirc or outside air one that one should be fine i don't want to deal with that one because that one's way up in here and it's going to be not fun to fix the passenger one is very very hard to fix too the uh, blend door actuator is not too bad i'll probably take this stuff off and show you guys but it's not too bad it is kind of hard to get to but it is doable this one is the easiest by far so we're going to get to this one we'll start here fix this one try to recalibrate it relearn and see if that fixes our problem because right now if we turn it on it's on we can turn the blower on and it's blowing through the face but if we change it oh now it wants to work of course it wants to work as soon as we turn it on so the blend door seems to be working now interesting so now the blend door is wanting to work but it is still blowing hot air on the driver's side so that's the temperature one if your driver's side or your passenger side is blowing hot air that means your temperature control actuator is probably the problem if you're not having which is the lower ones the one that's on the bottom and the one that's on the bottom if you're having problems with the yeah, let's turn this off if you're having problems with the where it's coming out of it's on the passenger side up top i'll show you guys all where those are all located and uh we'll get to fixing this one because this one's our problem right now now that all three of those are out this panel drops down and we'll just pull straight forward it's kind of held in on the corner here has a little clip that goes back up into this hole so we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side and go ahead and look under here there is our actuator now i've gone ahead and i've disconnected this because it was blowing hot air when we wanted to blow cold air so 
that's the easiest one to get to. We'll get our Torx bit out and go ahead and take this out. Under your clip first, easiest way to do it. Get that clip out and then we'll take the three Torx bits out of it. The actuator door will come out. So if you notice on these, there's a line on the black uh, structure part. And then there's two holes in the actuator part. That's your door to kind of know where it's at. I've unplugged this one to make it better for the wife for the week when I couldn't work on it. So I unplugged it where it was in the middle. It was a happy medium. It wasn't blowing hot. It wasn't blowing cold. But with the key off and the car off, let's see if we plug this in here. There you can see the actuator turning. So now the actuator is facing this way instead of up and down. So this is neutral and that's all the way hot. It's stuck all the way hot. Let's see if we can turn the key on. And turn the temperature down. There it goes. So it's trying to go past where its stop is. Now I'm not touching anything and it's doing a recalibration by itself. Now it's going all the way hot done calibrating let's turn the temperature down does nothing turn the temperature up does nothing so I would say that this is our problem so with that long story short no it did not relearn and it's still stuck on fully hot now I wonder if that will mess with the other stuff and make the other stuff not work since that one's not working maybe I'll test that out and let you guys update you guys as they go. I also said that it was a T20 and I was thoroughly wrong. It is a T15 that takes it off. So I'm going to do a little more diagnosing for you guys so you can kind of diagnose without a scan tool and uh, let you know what I find. So diagnosing went okay. I found one thing that's really going to be helpful to a lot of you guys that have it stuck and you don't have the part and you want the air to actually circulate and move through the cabin and not be all the way hot all the way time all the time so what you're gonna do is turn the key off get to the module whichever one's not working um, if it's a temperature one it's a lot easier than the door where it's at but it's still doable turn the key off unhook the clip from it press the brakes bleed that energy out of the system for a second clip the clip back in and when you clip it in, it's gonna do a sweep. It's gonna do a full sweep from fully closed, fully open or fully cold, fully hot. And you can kind of select where you want it by unhooking the clip real quick. The two long lines on each side is the middle. That's your neutral ground that's like 75 degrees, I think is what, 60 to 9. Yes, yeah, 75 would be the middle. So you can get it somewhere in there. So that way it's not all the way hot all the way, all the time. So you can kind of bypass the system and then just leave it unhooked. You can kind of bypass the system like that and get the air that you want. It's not the most ideal, but it will get you through until you actually get the actuator to fix it. Now, I, th I guess I'll just show you guys real quick and make it easiest on you. That way you got visual confrontation, not just me trying to ramble words. So right now, the module is plugged in. It's fully hot because it's not facing the middle. The middle's right here. It's fully hot. We'll go ahead and come up to the top. Key is on. We'll turn the key off. The keys are out. We'll touch the brakes real quick to bleed the brakes. Get some energy out. Get this unhooked up here. Unhooked. Bleed the brakes, hook it back in.
Now I'm not gonna clip it all the way. Ah, uh, sure, we'll clip it all the way. But if you're doing this, I wouldn't clip it in all the way. We'll take the keys, put them back in the ignition here. And then when we turn it on, this actuator will cycle through. See how it's moving? Now we can go ahead and pull it out. So that's fully cold. The other way was fully hot. So we'll get ready to pull this actuator out if we can. Definitely gonna be easier when you're not trying to do it on camera. Anyways, just now it's in the middle. We wanna to try to pull it out. Ah. There we go, we got it unhooked. It's not fully perfectly centered, but it's not all the way as hot as it could be either. So that's a quick little way to get it kind of where you want it. If you mess up, you just do it again and it will reactuate and get it closer to where you want it. So here's our old OEM factory actuator. And then here's our new numbers and the new actuator, LCWRGS. This is the new actuator that's gonna replace that. Just held in by three screws and then the clip goes in here, same as the other one. Now you can see the neutral and then fully hot, fully cold, and that's all it is. So if you're wanting to change out how this is blending, if it's really, really hot, it's stuck over here. You wanna to try to get them lined up in the middle here. New actuators in, so let's see if we can. There, it's going fully hot. It stopped this time. Going fully cold. Stop this time. So we've got it on as hot as it could be on this side, which is 90. Let's go down. And the actuator is all the way hot. So if we go ahead and turn the air all the way down now, the actuator is moving. It moves fully cold and stays there. And we're fully cold. Awesome, now let's hope that that actually fixes our issue. I know that there's three of them in here and it's a pain to get to. I'll show you the other two that you can see really easy and then the third one's up high in the glove box and we're not gonna get to that one because that one's not fun to get to. But I'll show you the other two that are easy to get to, the other hot side, or hot and cold for the passenger, and the blend door. The blend door is the one that's gone out with me before. So I've already replaced the blend door one, and now I've gone to replace the driver side hot cold. So I'm assuming that the passenger side hot cold is going to go out soon, and I got the actuator already here just in case. So they're like 17, 18 bucks on Amazon. Got them here. I've just got an extra one that way I have it for when it goes out. I will have it and we can replace it So I'll go ahead show you those other two Put the panels back you want to make sure that, that little foot goes in that little hole Right there and then we'll just push it up and put the three clips in make sure that this is behind everything here and we'll grab a clip with the Peg still out, put it through. The pegs out and then we'll push it in, that will lock it together. We'll do that for the all three of them. Now the passenger side has the same clips, but there's only two of them, and then an access panel to a fuse box that's in here. So the access panel kind of pops down, then there's one Two clips that need to come out, pop those down, this panel will come down. To see it easier, 
we'll take the glove box out. Now the glove box is out, two sides, and then the actuator arm to keep it from slamming out. We've got the actuator that is the blendor is right there. Right below it is going to be very hard to see. But is the hot cold for the passenger side. It's like right here. So there's your other two actuators and then there's one up underneath here that we're not gonna get to. There you can see the door blend actuator and then if we can look down you can start to see the other actuator. This is your temperature control for the passenger side. A little bit harder to get to but you can come up underneath and get to it pretty easily. So if we go ahead and now move the door or move the where it's pointing at our head our feet we can see the actuator moving with the head and feet and if we move the hot and cold we can hopefully see this one moving We can see the hot and the cold door is moving right now. So there you go. That's how you get to them and that's how you kind of diagnose which one's working and which one is not. You can go through the panels and through the switches and see which one is working and which one is not. Now we'll see, let's hook the scanner up and see if that actually clears the code by installing a new one. And the new one went through a recalibration, but you can check for yourself to see which one's working and which one's not. A lot of times you can just turn the car on and the reason that I thought it was the driver's one was it would stick and it, I would hear the other actuators go and stop, go and stop, and then this one would keep trying to like go past where it needs to stop. So it sounded like it's sitting there trying to grind the gear stuck open was one of the biggest things in the codes. The codes said it was stuck or open, so it's trying to go past open where it thinks opens now, like opens usually here, and it's like trying to go over here, but it can't, so now it thinks the range is over here, and it's actually over here. Yeah, it's just stuck. So we replaced it, we got a new one in, and it seems to be working just fine right now. So we're gonna wrap this interior back up and call it a day. I hope you guys learned something. This works out for some of the trucks too. The trucks have these actuators in them. I don't know exactly the year, but your Traverses, the Acadia, and the Buick Enclave. Those three share pretty much exactly the same everything minus the front badge. That's pretty much what it is. So if you're having problems with those, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm going to get out of here and uh, quit rambling on. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoy your day. I'm enjoying mine. Now this is fixed. We got hot and cold air coming out. Take it easy, everyone. Peace. No, it did not immediately clear the codes. Might after a while, but it didn't immediately. So now you know.